the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame. fame, 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 fame. We are back. What a fine place. Let's make a trade. My smithy for your house, the church, and the graveyard. <laughs> what? That's an incredibly gen generous offer, Kresval, but I'm afraid... Haha, yeah, <laughs> he thought I was being serious. I'm not such a complete idiot that I'd want to live and work in this dump. Yuck. Eh, um, you're so polite. Almost like farmer. Are you brothers by any chance? Heh <laughs> I'll tell you a secret. I was the smith before his ancestors even moved here. Now, you're coming with me. Am I under arrest? There's an emergency in the village. Horadric is gathering all the villagers in his tavern. I'm not a villager. There are vampires in the village, Keeper, and we expect the first fatalities are just around the corner. Horadric has requested a specialist in the dead. Now go. Uh-oh, guys. We're late. Remember, it's your fault. Uh-oh, people blaming, folks. What up, everybody? Hope y'all doing well. Rose, thank you. We all feel your pain. We all know your suffering. I was grinding and that happened. The little cutscene jumped in. Boring. Boring. That was the third and final of the vampire's victims for today. But any one of us could be the next to meet him. Chain, the farmer's son, Rose, is only just the beginning. Villagers, I await your suggestions. Not all at once now, please. Corey, your suggestion first. My suggestion? Ah, yes, of course. People, hear my words. Why is shirt be looking all funny? One week only. Corey and brother will be available to fix your per porch <laughs> for a 15% discount. And as a free gift, you'll get a special wooden platypus from Texas. Uh, from Tretz. No, that's my favorite toy. Business is business, brother. He up there advertising. Uh, okay, Adam, let's hear your suggestion. My suggestion is to assign two bodyguards to each village. A week ago, a band of ghouls wrote some offensive slander on my wall. Adam, it was the village teenagers. I even helped them a bit <laughs> with the grammar. Besides, ghouls don't exist. Oh dear, Logger, your suggestion? My suggestion is for everyone to stop eating dead animals. It's only natural that you'd end up seeing vampires and other nonsense. Fresh roots and braised leaves, the secrets to a healthy body and spirit. What? To turn down candied chicken leg marinade? Candied? Never! Beekeeper, please don't spit on the floor. Is there something you'd like to add? Yes, there is. You people are crazy. You're all full of rubbish. It's all becoming clear. It's the vile doings of my sworn enemy, Hornet Man. But fear not, my army of carnivorous bees is nearly ready. Soon, very soon, I will release them upon the village. That would be the most kind of you, beekeeper. Are there any other suggestions? Great. <laughs> the meeting adjourned. You are all free to go. Uh-oh, vampires in the village. What up, everybody? Charles Macro here today, back again, jumping back in the graveyard. Keeper. Keeper, could you spare a moment? Again, like I was saying, I was grinding, getting ready to jump back in for the next part, and this hit. Listen, might I ask you to look into all that stuff? It's pretty unexpected, but I appreciate that you confide in me. Frankly speaking, I wouldn't exactly say that I confide in you. But if I ask some villager, I have to give them a huge tax write-off, in addition to their reward. So it only makes sense to ask someone outside of the village, wouldn't you say? Hmm, yeah. Exactly. No, absolutely. On the other hand, you're such a kind and understanding guy. Perhaps you'd agree to help us for free? <laughs> I agree to help for the free for the fee. I'll think about that. We'll talk later. I'm too busy to deal with this. I'll agree to help for the fee. I hope for a little compassion in this time of misfortune. But very well, we got that money. What a greedy rascal. Very well, let's go home and think a bit find the vampire okay cool so we got another task in finding the vampire but that's not exactly what we are doing today now I'm heading back to the house it's nighttime so if we see the vampire on the way to the house 
cool, but I'm not going to look for him right now. We'll look for him in another episode. Unless he's up here in the field. Vampire love wheat fields. Okay. I didn't go all the way to the top. So I'm up here, I might as well go all the way to the top. Okay. It's a little cutout right there. All right, cool, 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 cool. So as I was saying, not what we are doing today. In the last episode, we crafted a tent in our new uh, camp, or whatever you want to call it. And so, what do we want to call it? Is it a camp? Is it a camp? It's not a village. I'm, yeah, we'll call it the camp for now until I remember what it's called. Oh, here we go. Back Boy, again. Damn. It's time to pay for your crimes, you foul creature. Boy. Defend yourself. What? <laughs> Shepard, are you talking to me? To you, you vile vampire, prepare to die in the name of my wife and all other innocents. Hey, that's kind of funny. You really think I go around at night sucking people's blood? How come I'm always out in the sun working? That proves nothing. You could be a vampire mutant. There's only one way to check. Bunch of garlic. Eat that. What? Raw garlic? Aha, he refuses. The fiend gives himself away. Oh, crap. Here we go. Hey, hey, hey. Are you satisfied? Like my old teacher from the Order of Undead Hunters used to say, more. Come on, man. You have me eating all this garlic? You eat some garlic. Ah, I hate you. However, if you are a mutant, you might be resistant to the garlic. Eureka, I know what we must do. Take this wooden steak and plunge it deep into your heart. If you die, stop. I have a better idea. I'll find you an actual vampire. Then you can cut me a break. Hmm, and if you fail, then you can kill me or I'll eat a whole bucket of garlic or whatever you need. It's a deal, but don't you try to cheat me, you bearded horror. His logic is insurmountable. I guess it would make sense to talk to the victims. Chain, Farmer, Son, and Rose. Okay, more fetch quests. Chain, Farmer, Son, and Rose. Rosa, question her about the vampire. Okay. I like how I was saying, we'll get to that. Hey, why well, only got 44 seconds? Why am I? Okay, what's that debuff I have? What is this debuff? Hold on, let me let me find this before we carry on. Oh, uh, where is it at? Oh, eating garlic. Your mouth is burning. <laughs> okay. Well, luckily I got enough energy and I got uh, plenty of wine to bring back my energy uh, if we happen to drop too much. All right, so the sun is about to come out, guys. As I was saying, and unless we see a vampire on the way, we're not doing the vampires this episode. We are heading back. Uh, we are hoping, so I'll let a whole day go by. This is like the second day. So our camp should be up where I have enough points. Um, it should be at least three. We needed three so that we could uh, build the next thing. Let's see, yeah, we got four. We got four for happiness, nice. Nice, because they got plenty of food. So the next thing we were going to build was the water well. And we can bring in a new refugee. So we're going to do both. But what I want to do is see how much food. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plenty of food. Plenty of food. Uh, while we were away, while I was grinding before that cutscene cut in, I made more burgers. Let's throw them in there. I made more cabbage soup. I figured they liked the prepared meals better. Made sandwiches. Made a bunch of sauerkraut. Uh, all the buff lasts longer, but I'm actually keeping the sauerkraut. I meant to use this before I use my uh, speed thing. So I'm going to start using that. And I made, uh, uh, I actually had grabbed these. I meant to put these inside my house for crafting food. And we already have some lentils, so cool. I actually missed the day, so I wanted to get more silk. Every time the merchant comes, we have to get silk. But I actually missed him for whatever reason. So we got to wait a whole another week, but whatever. If I have to sit and see him, uh, we'll do that. All right, cool. So let's make our first water well. Oh, okay. It did it automatically. Wow. All right, cool. And the happiness threshold is up to five. I figured something like that would happen. Okay. And so we need one more uh, happiness. So Okay, so it's going up 18% per... Not sure what this time frame is. Okay, 20%. Oh, sorry. It's 20% full. I, somebody let me know if you know the ratio of how fast it goes up. But does the 20% have anything to do with that? No, because it's saying 18% now. 
it just goes up ever so much you know each time so let's see if I come back what does it say yeah we we just gotta wait for it to cycle through all right so again I crafted more speed boost uh, crafted food um let's see I grabbed this honey basically we're just waiting to get that next point and we will see what it do when you get another uh, joining to the camp expanding the camp yeah okay and we can talk to buddy so we'll talk to him I'm gonna put this honey in here so I'm gonna eat honey and the beeswax eh. you know what I keep the beeswax I'll keep the beeswax okay Let's holler at dude. He got the three dots. Excellent work, my friend. We appreciate it. Especially now, when we've almost run out of fresh water. Glad to be useful. I asked the old servant to inform my friends in town that we're ready to take them in. And just the one extra tent is enough, right? I'm not sure. There are dozens of people on the Inquisitor's list. Then I set up one more tent. That would be good, but we're still having trouble with food. And new people will only aggravate the problem. Obviously, you need a garden for growing vegetables. It looks like there's no other problem you can't solve, Graveyard Keeper. <laughs> All right, so we got to build a garden next. So that's going to be on our list. So really, the only thing governing this is time. They just make you have to wait. Let's see, fence supplies for the garden. Yeah, the only thing is just time. You're just waiting on time to pass. You're biding time while the little meter fills up on your and your happiness grows so there just is no fast way that's kind of janky because it should just be based on what i have and if i got a bunch of food in here the more food you got in there the more it should be up not like i said some arbitrary time restraint but that is what it is again that's kind of janky but it is what it is all right so what we want to do is get these fence supplies for the garden we'll do that while we wait on the next level of happiness to go up and so we need wood planks and we need the wood, the, the chop wood joints, wood billet, flitch and wood billets, 24 flitch, 12 wood billets. Okay. I took a little picture so I can remember what it is. Now I could transport back, but I'm gonna let my speed juice run out. So we're going and walk it to the crib or, or speed walk. We power walking, we power walking. That's what we doing. I will walk boom 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 and that'll run out in a second I'm gonna use some sauerkraut just so I can uh, make my speed boost run I think it lasts like 10 minutes so we'll see how long it actually lasts all right so where is it at there it is wooden billets how many did it say we needed again hold on hold on give me a second guys give me a second come on come on let's see Okay, so we need 12, so 30, so that's 24, 36. So we'll take, eh, we'll take 48 for now, that'll be four of them. 48 should hold us, and then we need flitch. Sometimes I'm out of flitch for whatever reason. Flitch gets used a lot. Do we have some flitch? There is no labeling system, so unless you just got like a super good memory, and I haven't played this game in some months, unless you got a super good memory, it's kind of hard to remember where everything is. Oh, there we go. We got some flitch. Now, it takes 24 flitch, so that'll be 48 for three. Oh, uh, what's that? 72. That's 58. Okay, so I'm going to craft some more. Usually, I can get my dudes to do it. Yeah, there we go. We can get him to do that. We'll do 72. Uh, where is it gonna put them though? Uh, let me put, let me put uh, one of these in here. They'll always put it in the case that has at least one in it already. So just in case you're trying to figure out how, how to make them put it in a certain specific chest. Yeah, just look for that. Put one in there and you'll be good. Okay, 10 more take nine so that's 60 what I say 72 so we need 12 more so he gonna have to do two more rounds of that uh, see we got plenty of wood and my zombie is continuing to stock 
See if there's anything up here we can take. It's something about these um these lightning bugs, but I can't remember what it is. It's like it's a special place, like you should dig right there, or okay, I was seeing if any slimes are up there. There's something to it, but I just I can't remember exactly what it was. Alright, so we did the well. We're gonna get us another refugee to join. Alright, cool. So 30, 30. Oh, okay. We really only need six more. Let's get our six. Bam. So now we have enough that we could do three more spots if we needed to. So or two more, including of the one we did. Okay, so let me do this. Let me do a sauerkraut. All buffs last longer. We got two minutes on that. And ah, okay, so 13 minutes instead of uh the 10. I believe it's 10. Let me know. Correct me in the comments if I am wrong. Cause I cannot remember. I cannot remember when we used to sit uh, in a government yard in Jersey. Ah, oh, it's not ready. Dog on it. They're not happy enough. I need three. Oh, I need three. Oh, yeah, and we need five for the next tent. Wow. So, excuse, okay, that's right. For, I need two for the refugee guard. In my bad. Then I'm gonna need two for the uh two for the new refugee and then two for the garden. Yeah, this stinks that you just gotta sit here and wait. Like there is no way. Oh, I know what I do. I know what I do, guys. I know what I do. We're gonna make some time go by. So I'm about to transport back to the house. Home sweet home. And this gonna waste my uh my buffs, but whatever. So if you want time to pass without going to bed, sit at this meditate place. Time will go by a lot faster. So again, it's wasting my buff, but I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. We have to let time pass, all right? So I'll see y'all in a minute. I'm gonna let this time pass and then I'll see y'all back up at the camp. All right, guys, so I'm back and I have 2.93 of five. Let's see if that'll go up. Okay, 2.93 of five. So now we have the choice between the garden and the refugee. I want to do the garden actually, because the refugees, we can do them forever, whenever. But I'm going to go ahead and do the new refugee. We'll do the garden next. So, bam. New refugee. Uh, where is that? Where they at? How do you know when they come? How do you know when they come? Aw, oh, man. I thought it would be a little more hoopla around that. Oh, wait a minute. But look at this refugee camp. Okay, 93%, whatever that means. And now it's 22%, so something good came of it. Let's talk to him and see. Uh, Our minds are free, my friends. We've left the shackles and prisons behind us. Okay, build a garden, build one more tent. Uh, okay. Ah, there we go. There we go. Ooh, what's up? She going to her place? Yo, you, yo, 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 come here. Come here. I should have talked to her. She was kind of nice. All right. Look like we could be friends. Okay, so I guess the people don't come out. I guess the people don't come out, okay. Well, well again, now I'm just waiting for a more a happiness to accumulate so I can do the garden. So, uh, let's see, new refugee. We did the well, we did new refugees. Okay, we're, we're gonna do more in this episode. What I do, again, I'm gonna fast track it. And um, what we're gonna do is do another, uh, do some more supplies for the garden. And we'll see what that do. We'll see what that do. So we're going to let this build back up. And we'll be back. All right, guys. We are back once again. I almost wanted to let all five fill up. But that's okay. We about to fence these supplies for the garden. Because we're going to do it automatically. Okay. So some of these is just semi-automatic. Like, I don't get to choose. They're just popping them up there. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that. I would like a little more freedom of customization. Because basically everything is going to go where they put it and not where we choose. Oh, nice. All right, cool. That did give us an extra happiness spot once again, or slot. So now we are just waiting. Okay, wow. So now they got beds. Oh, they got a cooking table. And another residential tent. Hmm. hmm. So what did we do? We did the well, the garden, 
and we got one more refugee. I was trying to think about how I'm gonna title this. All right, so, okay, I do want to go ahead and bring in the, do the next tent, but I'm gonna save that for the next episode. So yeah, we'll bring this in on the next one, and the next one will be more about the bed and the cooking table, that way, because we've already done a tent, and uh, that way I don't have to worry about actually doing that or titling it like it's a new thing, it's not. We've done a tent, we've done a refugee. So the next episode will be about the bed and the cooking table. We're gonna get that going building this camp up guys all right so guys hit me in the comment box let me know what you think about this let me know what you think make sure you like make sure you subscribe share this so others can check this out and uh yeah let me know if you want to see more and again thank you guys man i know y'all been enjoying the graveyard keep it showing a lot of love and support so i'm about to head home and we're gonna get ready for the next day guys all right charles macro graveyard keeper game of crones dlc Thank you for stopping through, and I'm going to holla at you. Peace. I wanted to thank you one more time for supporting Charles Macro and the Macro Elite. You are elevating your logic, your intellect, and your thinking every day. Now, if you want to support, there are other ways that you can do so. So check out this little promo, and it'll tell you some ways that you can truly be down. And thank you once again. And for you guys that want to support further, go to charlesmacro.com slash shop. There you can buy t-shirts, you can buy other merch like coffee mugs, onesies, bargains, caps. You also can support by buying and checking out my music. I have the I Run The Game album that is out on all the digital retailers, the iTunes, the Spotify's. And in fact, if you're on Spotify, go on there, I Run The Game, the album, Charles Macro Music, look that up and add me to a playlist, all right? That will help me get up on the charts as well and earn money off that music if you're feeling it like you're feeling the intro, okay? And go subscribe to the new Charles Macro Music channel, all right? You also can hit my Amazon affiliate links down below. You don't have to buy any of those products, just click the link, then buy whatever you were planning to buy that helps me get a little love, okay? Then we have Patreon, Cash App, YouTube membership program. I'm gonna be getting subscribe stars soon if you wanna support that way. Of course, I'm on IG, Twitter, Discord, Facebook, any of those social medias you wanna follow me on, see some other things, some pictures, some, some regular life stuff, my photography business, uh, video, go on, on there, follow, like, subscribe, share. Thank you guys once again just for the support. Charles Macro. Thank you for stopping through, and I'm a holla at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the. I run the macro. My name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame.